distance between two points. So if we're given two points, we can find the exact distance between them. So we're going to find the distance between 7, 5 and 1 minus 3. So let's plot it out to just know what we're dealing with. Five, six, seven. We've got one, one, two, three, four, five, and we've got minus one, minus two, and minus three. They're the ones we're interested in. So the point seven five is up here, and the point one minus three is down here. And our goal is to find the exact distance between those two points. So there is a formula we can use, and that's d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Let's go ahead and label the points appropriately. So we've got x1 might use this as x2 and y2 and x1, y1. So usually I choose bigger values to be the second coordinate because we're subtracting them. We're using the, we're subtracting the other ones from those. So let's plug all those in. So d is going to be the square root of x2, which is 7, minus x1, which is 1 all squared plus y2 which is 5 minus y1 which is minus 3. So you've got to be really careful there when one of the values is negative because the negative belongs in the formula and this negative belongs with y1. Let's go ahead and simplify that. So 7 minus 1 is 6 so we're going to have 6 squared plus 5 minus minus 3 so that's going to be 5 plus 3, which is 8. We're going to have 8 squared. So we're going to have 6 squared, which is 36. 8 squared, which is 64. 36 plus 64 is 100. So we get the square root of 100, which is exactly 10. And this formula actually comes from Pythagoras, where you'll see that over here, we're finding the difference in y values and the difference in x values between the two points and we're squaring them and square rooting them to get the hypotenuse. Mm -hmm.